In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Zoom to deliver your online training or coaching. So are you ready? Hey Go-Getter, it's Salma Jafri from SalmaJafri.com and you are in the right place if you want to grow your personal brand with video. Hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon and let's begin. This is part of my online series that shows you how you can use your existing technology and tech to jumpstart your online coaching business using your existing skills and services. So that's what this is all about. And that's if that's what you want to do, then continue watching. I'll be releasing new videos in this series every Friday. So Zoom has seen a pretty big exponential round of growth because everyone's working from home and everyone's working remotely. I've been using Zoom for almost two years now and I'm on the pro plan. So a lot of the features that I'm going to be talking about are on the pro plan. They might be available if you are uh, doing a meeting which is less than 40 minutes. I think 40 or 45 minutes is the cutoff on the free plan. So you can still use a lot of their features. And another thing is that you don't necessarily have to have participants. You can use Zoom just by yourself doing an online recording or recording an online training just by yourself as well. So it's a really handy tool to have in your arsenal, no matter what kind of training or presentation or live streaming or live training or recording or presentation or virtual meeting, all the terms, right? All the terms. Zoom is an amazing software to do any kind of training. So let's get into it. All right, so here we are inside Zoom. And if this is the first time you're using it, you'll probably have to download a little bit of the software onto your system. And then you're gonna see the zoom.us icon in your dashboard here. So I just wanna click on this icon right here and I can start a new meeting. Now remember, this doesn't have to be with somebody. It can be just by yourself as well. So once you start a new meeting, my settings are that it starts off with a video. Now, in this case, I'm I'm using my MacBook's built-in camera for this meeting, but when I actually do Zoom meetings, I use my Logitech webcam, which sort of just sits right here on top and it gives a better uh, video quality. So that's what I typically use for online meetings. But let's uh, do this on um, the MacBook and also you can log into Zoom on your phone as well. So whether you have an Android device or an iOS um, software, you can use your iPhone to also do all of this. It's pretty much the same functionality. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you is that my recording has started automatically because I've set my, in my settings, I've set to record every single Zoom meeting. And I'll show you in a minute where they're all recorded, but right now this is being recorded. And so if I wanted to do an online training or a coaching, I wanted to put together a program, I could just literally turn this on and start talking and it would start recording. That's how easy it would be, right? So when you are doing an online meeting, a lot of uh, you might be concerned about how you look. And so Zoom actually has an interesting feature called a beauty filter. Let me show you how that works. So we are inside your recording window and you wanna go here where it says video, it says stop video here. So you wanna click on this arrow here and then click on video settings right there. And you can do a number of things here. You can change from widescreen to original ratio. Uh, you can mirror my video. So you can change you know, that. And then this is the touch up my appearance. So let me move my thing to the side so you can see how Zoom touches up your appearance. So this is click right now. So let me undo it. And you can see, you can see all my pimples and everything. And then I'll click touch up my appearance and then it just smooths out your skin. So um, if you're conscious and being on camera, that's something you can easily do. Another thing that I absolutely love is the virtual background, which I can actually use on this MacBook. So I'm gonna show you on my husband's uh, computer. Um, the reason I can't show it to you on here because for a virtual background to actually work, your computer has to be a 10.13 Mac OS version or higher and your processor must be an Intel Core i7 with a quad core or better so if that is your setup then you can actually use a virtual background here um, and another thing i wanted to show you that if you want to customize your virtual background you can do two things you can either use a green screen so you can put a green screen behind you and then choose one of the virtual backgrounds and you can also use Canva to set up your virtual backgrounds. Let me show you how. I'm gonna to go to Canva here, canva.com. And from the left sidebar, you wanna choose templates and then type in Zoom virtual backgrounds. And then you're gonna see all of these 
amazing backgrounds that you can use as your Zoom virtual background. So that's a nice little tip there to, if you have a messy room or you don't have a great background, you can actually use one of those dependent on your computer. And I'll put in a montage here of doing it on my husband's computer. So you can see what it looks like. All right, the next feature I wanna show you is the share your screen feature. Now this is such an important feature, whether you are delivering a live presentation or you just want to record a lesson or a module in your coaching, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna click on share and you'll see some options here. So you can either share uh, whatever's happening in your browser. So let's say I want to share something on my YouTube channel so I can share Google Chrome and click share. And now you'll be able to see my YouTube channel and I'll be able to show, you know, maybe if I'm giving a YouTube training on analytics, I can show all of that. And also there's a window on the side where I can see myself. So I can expand this, I can keep it at this size or I can minimize it if it's distracting. I like keeping it on this size because it keeps that connection with you as the instructor there. So I like this aspect. The other thing that you can do is you can open up a presentation. So here I have a keynote presentation that I just delivered recently. And if you have a presentation that you can prepare in advance, then what you can do is again, you can go to Zoom, you click on share and you click on your, in this case, I'm gonna choose keynote and I'm gonna click share and then I'm gonna play my presentation. So it's a great way to actually deliver a training when you have slides. And um, this was part of my presentation. <laughs> on um, video for a strategy. So yeah, this is all the stuff that I made. And this is interesting way to have the best of both worlds. So you can have like a presentation as well as um, show yourself on screen. So that's another really great feature of Zoom. Okay, so apart from sharing your screen and your presentation, you can actually make stuff while you are running a Zoom training as well. And you can do it live using their whiteboard feature, which I really like as well. So again, you wanna to go to share, except this time you wanna choose whiteboard, right? And when you choose whiteboard and click share, you can actually draw whatever you want here and you have all of these formatting tools and stuff that you can use. So um, let's say I'm doing a training on channel headers for YouTube. So I'll actually draw a channel header like that and then I'll be like, okay, here's what you draw over here. And here's what you like write over here. And I mean, I can just like draw on this. I can change uh, the color. I can change, you know, what I'm doing with this. I can give tips so I can actually just live draw. And this is a really handy feature for when you want to give trainings and you, you're doing a live training and you just want to demonstrate certain things. When I'm uh, typically in a coaching call, I like to make sure that everyone's um, able to talk to each other so I don't mute people, but sometimes there is feedback um, from everyone's microphones and stuff. So if you are the only one talking and you're delivering a, delivering a training, then you want to mute all participants and you can just do that by going to each participant and just clicking mute or you can choose that in your meeting settings. So you can go back inside Zoom and you can go into settings here and go through all of these settings and customize them to how you want. So you can choose whether you want video on as soon as the meeting starts, whether you want audio on, whether password is required for meetings, whether um, you know you can do um, whether people can communicate with each other in the live chat or not. All of those things you can set to your liking. And the other thing I want to point out is another great feature, which is that you can schedule recurring meetings. So what I want to do this time is I want to click on schedule and I want to schedule this meeting. You can name it whatever you want and then just click recurring meeting here. And then it's going to uh, have that meeting recur every time at the same time or date that you choose. And also it will sync it with your Google Calendar. And there are a few other calendars. Again, go to your settings and configure any other calendars you might want to use with that. So I find this is a great feature for when I'm doing recurring trainings. And I like to make sure that people don't get confused what time the trainings are. So they're always at the same time on the same days. And I just set them once. It's the same meeting ID so people don't need to look for the URL every single time. So my question for you today is, 
Are you going to be using Zoom to offer your live trainings? And if so, was this tutorial helpful in getting started? Let me know in the comments below. Finally, um, how do you save your recordings? So when you are doing a new meeting and it's recording and you are on the pro license, which I am in this case, um, every single meeting of mine is recorded on the cloud. If you're not on the pro license, you can record every single meeting on your device. So onto your computer or your mobile phone. So wherever you can save, you can save either natively or to the cloud. Now, obviously I like saving uh, all of my trainings to the cloud. And the big reason for that is I save space on my device and also it makes sharing it really easy afterwards. So as soon as I click end meeting, it says, uh, I'm going to do end meeting for all and then says you will get an email notification when the cloud recording is ready. And if I go into my uh, email account, it'll give me a link that I can view the recording with and I can also share the recording and I can also download the recording. So typically what I do, I'm going to take you to my Facebook group called YouTube Intensive. So that's my uh, coaching program for YouTube. And what I do is I upload all of our coaching calls inside here. So you can see um, all of 2019's group coaching calls are uploaded here. So if anybody misses uh, the call, they can go and watch the replay or if they want to go and see a particular section that we discussed live or some training that I gave live, they can go and watch the replay and refresh their concepts and everything. So I find that a great way to make sure that I'm delivering coaching that is valuable and it stands the test of time because people can go back and watch it over and over as many times as they need to to get their concepts clear. And so I like using Zoom with Facebook groups to do that. You can also just email a link out to your coaching clients if that's something if you don't have a Facebook group, then you can do that as well. And if you want to use all of the Zoom functionality in a live stream, I have a great tutorial for you. I'll link it in the end card here where you can use Zoom to go live on Facebook as well as use it to go live on YouTube with all the functionality that we just discussed. And check out the entire playlist of how to start an online coaching business from home. I'll link that here as well. Remember to go after what you want and build a brand you love because you can be the media.